I've already prepped this nail with two coats of underwater haze. I'm now taking a small dotting tool and dipping it into Raven's Kiss, which is our black polish. And I'm just gonna do a line of four dots. Actually, normally I would use five, but I didn't think I had enough room for the fifth dot um, down the nail in three rows. You wanna have the dots even with each other because you will be connecting them in this design. Next, I'm just gonna pop it under the lamp and let it cure. Now that that's cured, I'm gonna take my striking tool and I'm just going to create little C's to connect my dots. Now I don't want to do every single one, I'm going to alternate. This is what's gonna give us that overlap look. And if you aren't happy with the line, you can always wipe it away with a cleansing pad. So you're, as you can see on the other side of the pattern, you alternate the C's. You could omit doing the side of the nail, especially on your own fingernail, because nobody's really gonna see that. Now I decided that I actually wanted to go back in and put those fifth dot, row of dots in there, just because I wasn't liking the way that it looked. So I did go back and do that, just so that the pattern looked like it had continued down to the tip of the nail. Now I'm gonna pop it under the lamp and let that cure. Next I'm taking some Evening Storm mixed with some Clearly Frisky and one of my bigger brushes and I'm just gonna create some shadowing at the tips of the C's. This kind of gives it that 3D dimension. You don't want it too heavy, just nice and like shadowing. Now that I've done that, I will cure it. Now I'm taking my long striking brush again and I'm using some lovey dovey just to give it a little bit of definition around the C's. You want to make sure that these lines are very, very thin. If you put the white on too thick, it takes away from the accent and looks really thick and gaudy. It doesn't really give it the definition that you're looking for. I found this probably to be the trickiest part of the whole design was just trying to make those lines nice and thin. I very used very little polish on my brush. I'm gonna pop that under the lamp and give that a cure. And lastly, I'm just gonna to top it off with a clear coat of Clearly Frisky, just cause I like to seal my design. And that's our finished basket weave. Thanks for watching.